this one, if you if you can go up there, there's little doors where you can access. So when they were talking to Richardson, he came to see them in the house they were living at on Washington Street. And this picture, and we'll see it in the library when we get in, was on prominent. And he said, hmm, you like that? It's Abington Abbey in England. Um, the blisters were never here. So, but there is some talk that recently that John Ruskin from the Arts and Crafts Movement was interested in this house. So maybe that was the finish. They haven't determined that yet. So Richardson used this to base this elevation. That's pretty much You can see what you know. This gave much more room to maneuver the car and all that stuff. Whatever they needed to do. This is the uh, entrance that the mail service used. This staircase that goes up to the rooms above the post office. were very segregated <laughs> in this household. There were eight living servants, four and four, gender-wise, <laughs> and four people, four adults. This is patterned after Roman Marketplace. Richardson was only the second American architect to study in Paris at the Ecole de Beaux Arts. So he spent a lot of time in Europe absorbing all these things. He traveled around. He actually got stranded in Europe because of the Civil War, he had no money to get back home, so he was there for a while. So he came back with a lot of these things in his head, the things that he saw. He loved stone, obviously. And arches, Richardson is arch. You can't have a Richardson building without an arch. So this is, Frank Lloyd Wright used this same design gift shop in a hotel in San Francisco. So there's lots of things that, uh, Richardson came first, then <coughs> Sullivan, and then Wright. So Wright, in the scheme of things, is the baby of the, <laughs> the architects. But Richardson very much influenced the other two. They could have all been here at the same time. They all knew the same people. The Burnhams and everybody else that were the movers and shakers of Chicago lived on this street. So. If, you were here with the Glesseners, you might have, but we, you know, we don't have documentation, but they all knew the same people and all influenced each other. But Richardson was first. And he unfortunately died young. Yeah, I noticed that. He was I only in his late 40s. So 